Okay, so we want to make a live milling holder, such as this drilling tool coming in to pop that hole. Okay, so we're going to drag in the solid, and after we do that, uh, I'm looking at it, and we've got one face that has a green color. So we're going to go ahead and make this look a little bit more uniform. I'm just going to pick on that face, right-click, say copy, and come here and pick a light gray and looks like that matches pretty close, close enough. So this is an ER32 collet. So the first thing that we want to do is make sure that where the Capto insert interfaces with the holder, uh, we want to make this aligned with the Z-axis. So you can see the Z-axis is currently uh, pointed sideways. So we're going to pick on this face and say align Z. And now we see the holder is aligned normal to the z-axis. Now if you want to double check, you can pick this outside diameter and pick align z as well. And that will make sure that the holder is centered. So this is an ER32 and I want my tool to appear here where the collet is going to be sitting. So to uh, basically, this is our reference point for where it's going to appear in the tool holder. And now I need a reference point for where my tool will appear. So I'm going to go ahead and... So we have a, a quick access toolbar here. And I have the Translate Work Plane set up here. And how did I do that? You can come here and come to any, any icon in Esprit and just right click on uh, one, of the, uh, one of the icons that you want to, after it's been activated, uh, you can just right click and say add to quick access toolbar. So this is accessible now from here or from here. So if I was on a different toolbar, I could just come right up to here and then select the highlighted center of the face of this tool holder. So I'm just gonna click away, make sure nothing is selected come over here and I'm going to say create a tool adapter position. At this point I'm just going to go ahead and save out my file. So I'm going to save out what's called a holder file and it's just going to go in with uh, the other ones in my list and then what I'm going to do is just hit uh, file new on my keyboard control N, hit N for no, I'm going to switch over and bring in another one and this one is a shrink fit so here I'm gonna do the same thing I'm gonna pick this face I'm gonna say align Z I'm gonna rotate this around come over to translate pick the center point of that face come down here say TA underscore one I'm gonna click elsewhere so nothing is selected and I'm just gonna say file save as and we're going to say holder file, add it to my list, and let's check out how these are used. Okay, so we've got our machine, and what I want to do is first maybe turn the machine off, just so we can see the turret a little bit more easily. And let's go to tool assemblies, and it looks like I've got a turret cap sitting there. So the first thing that we're going to do, and you'll notice that as I pick different stations, it will automatically snap the station that I'm going to work on to the front position. So I'm going to pick this turret cap and just double click it and come here to edit that. And we'll come down here to WTO and we'll do a live milling. Haas ST and we'll just pick our basic radial C4 Capto live milling holder. So here you see the live milling holder and uh, we've created this in a previous uh, video or a similar one anyway. So uh, you should know how to do that already. And now, uh, you know, here's our reference position to adapt to the turret and then our tool holder position should be right here. So I'm gonna say okay and then here I'm going to right click and you'll see here that I can add a milling tool. 
I can also add an adaptive item. So I can add another solid holder on top of this holder. So this is the HA position that uh, we're creating in some of these videos. So the TA for tool adapter is if I wanted to just add a milling tool. The HA is if I want to add another holder adapter. So here I'll come up to a WTO, I'll come here to date modified, and these are the last two that I just did. So I'm gonna come here and just uh, click on the shrink fit, which was the, the last one, and I'm gonna pick that. So I'll see here that it's a six millimeter. I'm gonna come here to open, and I'll say okay. So you'll see that it appears in the correct position and we have, hopefully, a tool position here at the end. So I'm gonna come down and right click and say now I don't see a holder adapter because I did not create an HA here. So this is a six millimeter shrink fit. There's not really gonna be a holder that fits in there. So I'll say add an end mill. And here uh, we've got a six millimeter tool length, etc. You know, I could change the tool length if I want to 30 millimeters. Um, that might be a little long. We'll go back to 20. And you can see the, uh, I could turn that chuck off too. Let's turn off the material. Now let's turn everything off. So here we have the, the holder with the shrink fit with the tool. So I'm gonna say okay. So now, uh, and you can see, you know, if I wanna put in like, we'll put in a, a translation position there. So you can see that the holder is gonna take the C4 adapter with the tool. So you can build this out. So. Uh, basically, now, if I want to come back here and change this to that ER32 collet, and you'll see this is the one that we did first, you'll see that that is going to automatically update to fit inside the tool pocket. You know, I could come and pick a different one, smaller one, or maybe, maybe the uh, ER20. <clears throat> So the tool will shift to the tool position. The holder will shift to the holder position. And you know my actual live milling tool block, uh, I can move that as well. So this is how you can build tool assemblies very quickly inside of a spree to match your exact um, you know, tooling that you would put on the machine. So hopefully this helps you build more accurate uh, collision checking simulations.